time. Can you see where we are? $1.99 Monday. Let's see what we can find for the same average cost of goods as the bins. Hi, welcome to Well Read Wardrobe. I'm Kristen, an American full-time reseller making her way from Seattle to Sydney, and it is a full cart kind of day. And there we have it. The Australian sign of the day. Hey little koalas. Store number one on this solo mission Monday was a success. Most everything here is blue tags which were $1.99. My bestie was unfortunately sick today but you'll see her later on as this is a two weeks combined trip haul. And here's the second shop of the day. Far less to choose from because I didn't get there until after lunch. Now we're on the hunt for green tags. Anything green is marked down to $1.99. That's what I'm hoping to grab the most of today to keep my cost of goods down. Enjoy this little coffee o'clock sweatshirt. I love the coffee graphics, though I never, ever, ever buy them. Shout out to those boots. Those were $1.99 last week and they're super comfy. I'm over here hiding from, can you see her? There's Melissa. We have things that we're purchasing for each other for a collab, so don't want her to see. And now we're off to lunch. It's time for food before bins. Okay, so we started the day at $1.99 Goodwill. Are you finding better stuff here or there? Yes and no. <laughs> yes, I have a lot more stuff here. But okay. I need to sort through a lot of it. So, and we're gonna average it out. Yeah. So that'll help. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I guess I guess we'll see when we see. Yeah. And now we're back for the haul. Maybe the funnest part. I hope so because I sure didn't get a lot of footage, even though I was pretty certain I was filming the entire time. This is going to be a combination of one dollar and ninety-nine cent buys at the Goodwill full price buys at the Goodwill because I couldn't help myself, and some bins items, which if you're new here, that means the items that are on clearance at the Goodwill Outlet Center, otherwise known as the bins. In my area, that's $1.89 per pound. I take all of my items purchased in one day and I average out the cost of goods. Let's start with the things I've got in my hands. First, Madewell. Second, made well and actually only one more a dress made well I know the dress came from the $1.99 sales and the other two came from the bins next in my hand a gorgeous sweater it was a green tag so it was $1.99 on the second Monday that I went I do have some footage of me trying to pull this out there's the brand, and I just thought it was really nice, and for $1.99, I was gonna give her a try. I'm like a minute in, and I already have a curious cat wondering, who am I talking to? Why isn't it her? This is my roommate's cat that has now become my children's cat, and she's the sweetest. <laughs> Some more $1.99 items on green tag day. This is from Anthropology and has that sheer factor that we're looking for for the spring. And this blazer, the new label, feels silky and has a nice mustard yellow color going for it. These next two finds came from two separate Goodwills. I've got the new with tags Jessica McClintock purse that originally they wanted $19.99 for. This was Blue Tag Monday, so $1.99. And it went perfectly with the 80s style velvet brocade dress. Also, Jessica McClintock. This is not Jessica McClintock for Gunny Sacks. That would be a whole different kind of excitement. But I thought this was pretty cool. 
Look at those puffed shoulder pads. I am going to list this as a set because I think someone will appreciate the new little bag by the same designer. And moving on to some bottoms, also $1.99. On Blue Tag Monday, we got some distressed jean shorts by a new to me brand that I figured I'd look up for the price. And this corduroy mini skirt is Urban Outfitters. I love selling men's items. They seem to sell for a higher price and with less haggling. $1.99 Monday for blue tags. These are new from Target. They're the Tech Jogger and an extra large. Great summer pant. Now we've got some sports bras. The first, also $1.99, Blue Tag Special Fabletics. I don't like picking up a lot of Fabletics because it's missing the hang tag in most cases, but this is brand new, perfect. Pink, but, <laughs> pink by Victoria's Secret. I love the neon green mixed with that floral print. And this I thought was pretty awesome. This is not a new tag, but it's from a consignment shop nearby. And it's Lululemon. Blue tag, $1.99. Now remember this is from two different days. So one day blue tag was $1.99 and the next week I had green tags. I just haven't figured out how to film and get all this up yet. So it's a combined haul as I'm photographing to put things in my shop for sale. Another item can't beat for $2, J. Jill Linen. I've been finding a lot of J. Jill lately. Hopefully that also means I'm selling a lot of J. Jill coming up. Oh, I do have one more made well. And I'm loving the polka dots. Just a classic shirt dress. Okay, apparently I have more made well than I thought. There she is again. Pretty simple on the front, waffle knit, but the back has a really nice asymmetrical cutout type detail. I'll have to figure out what to call that. Or, better yet, I'm going to look up the style and see what Madewell called that. Next, we have a jumper, long, full pant length, and the brand is West Kai. We'll do some research on this piece. Velvet. I love velvet. Pretty in pink, a blush mini dress. I don't care what the brand is, but this one is Sunday in Brooklyn, in case you care. <laughs> the next two pieces are some of my favorites, and also $1.99. This first, in a mustard color yellow, is a full maxi dress, and it's by the brand. Theory. It doesn't always sell the best for me, but I feel like this piece is substantial and should do just fine. This next one is a brand that I occasionally pick up and it does sell fairly well for me. J. Crew. I love the embroidery on this. And it again is a full length maxi dress. Oh, this is going to be stunning for summer. Okay, the next piece just reminded me of my friend <laughs> who doesn't watch my channel, but Haley, I thought of you. Look, Lilo and Stitch. This is Disney. It does not say Disney Parks, but it was $1.99 on that Monday, and I thought it was pretty cute. The first Goodwill I went to, I was there when doors opened at 9. Actually, I got in trouble for walking in a few minutes early, the doors were literally open, like propped open, so I thought they were open. Anyhow, I got a bunch of stuff. I left, had lunch, went to a second location, and that one had a lot more limited selection because other pickers had been there looking for those blue tags. However, I did find this at the second location after lunch, Wilfred, a very expensive brand, $1.99 and it's just an oversized open front cardigan sweater. It just looks like a basic 
olive green military style jacket. But there's the brand. And then when you look inside, there's this amazing graphic, like street art. So here is the interior and here's what we've learned. Okay, now we've reached the time where I pick up full price tags at Goodwill because I know my cost is going to go down when I average it out. At the second location, I didn't find more than I think two blue tags, so it was much more tempting to grab full price items, including this piece from Anthropology. Feel like it has very cottage core vibes and it was $5.99 yes this piece coming in much higher at $12.99 a wool sweater made in Norway uh, grandma vibes but I love it I love the <laughs> I love boring beige and baby blue Another piece I probably didn't need to pay up for because I do find them pretty regularly are these Madewell jeans. They were $14.99 and green tag. I bought these full price on Blue Monday had I waited a week and if they were still there, they would have also been the $2. But I had no patience. They have raw hem and the style is the perfect vintage jean. Next I found a two piece set full price and that was $19.99, yeah, 20 bucks. This is free people movement. I've shown that little guy before. But I really liked that it was the full set. So I'm hoping this does well. Again, my price will go down. We'll see what it is when I'm done with the haul. Any guesses? The next full price piece, it's velvet, so it had me. This was $12.99 and is from Revolve. The tag has the brand as House of Harlow with Revolve. Full price, Spanx. They're a gorgeous mahogany color and that waxed like faux leather finish and they were $14.99. I did find other Spanx, but they were really marked up. So these seemed like a good deal, even at that price. My last full price pickup, which was on Green Tag Monday, which meant that now blue was the new color. So blue was full price. By that next week. Everything has a month to clearance out. This is new with tags. It is American Eagle. I paid $14.99, but I did so because it is a nice buttery sunshine yellow mini dress. And since that's one of our colors for the upcoming season, I decided she was worth it. Now, those prices were high. Going to the bins, paying by the pound, brings down my cost per item. Here's what I grabbed. This sweatshirt, an anime style. I found it online and it was called Roses. Originally retailed for 60. And I just thought it was really cool and artisan. And I've got, oops, an Alpha, what is this? Alpha Chi Omega cropped sweatshirt for all those university students and for their professor, a rag and bone, really gorgeous and pretty heavy blue cardigan. I love that look. Sticking with the blues, this had a tag on it telling me that it was hand knit. I removed it because I took photos, but I love that little bow oh, on each of the sleeves. Like how darling. All right, and I'm sticking to that college theme here. 
This is 100% wool. I do not know this brand. If you have any idea, please look. Please look and tell me what you think this is. Because I got nothing. And on the interior, it gives me... Let's find it. 100% wool. Google Lens couldn't find this for me. But look, it's got a rosette, which I was just watching Jack and Ryan talk all about how roses and rosettes were like everything for spring 2023. And a cameo brooch. So, you know, she's gorgeous. Next, we have a vintage dress, Christy Lynn, full length, so midi or maxi, depending on your height watercolor floral beautiful next is classic it's banana republic a midi animal print dress it does have belt loops it originally came with a matching belt i will pair it with a black one if i have one on hand my advice is to always grab the fabric belts that you see at the outlets so that you can provide a replacement to outfits such as this I believe this is vintage as well. Check out that collar, that's the back. It goes all the way around. It's delicate. She has a little bit of staining on the interior here. Oh, but I think someone's gonna love her. And you can't just go to a store and find pieces like this anymore. Two in one. All right, this hanger. I might try this piece on myself, but it's new with tags, Calvin Klein. And I love the bow detailing up here. The secretary bow is a favorite. Then we have a coach bag. She's in pretty good condition. And I just sold a coach bag a few days ago. That's not really important to this coach bag. They're not the same. But I am going to be listing bags this week. This one is factory. So is the other one. I don't think it matters to most people. I do disclose it. Next we have a striped balloon sleeve, like Renaissance type top by Waif. She's cute. An intimately free people top, shiny, lightweight, very much helped my cost of goods. More Wilfred. This is Wilfred Free from Aritzia. Basic. Next we have an Australian brand, so you know my heart was happy. City Chic. This is a plus size robe. It has the belt. It's attached on the back, which is super handy. She's already listed and has gotten quite a bit of attention. Next is Cabby. Not a brand I choose too often, but I thought this print, this like mixed media, bold color, green and blue, was perfect for spring. And last in the clothing is a dress by Torrid. It is a midi length polka dot. I did seem to score a lot of polka dots today. I love polka dots. I've gotten a ton of shoes lately and I hate cleaning them. So I don't know, I don't know why I keep choosing them. But here we go. $1.99, me -im. Pretty little loafer with studs and tassels. I'll be sure to mention the metals, silver, gold, all of that is back in style according to the runway. Next is a pair of wedge sandals, animal print by Bear Traps. And these were also $1.99 on that Monday. So were all the rest that I'm about to show you. Did you see in my cart? I had. 13 pairs of shoes. They're all identical. I did grab many sizes and they're sorted out into the sizes. These are called rescue flats. It says fashionable yet comfortable ballet flats for women on the go. I saw these when they were not on sale and I believe they were $7.99 a pair. And that is when I looked them up because I thought, well, if I could list them all, 
so quickly, so easily, and they could flip for $30, maybe it'd be worth it. My research told me it was not worth it. <laughs> they were not going to flip for that much. However, at $1.99 Monday, I was very happy to pick them up and I'll do quick listings. And I'm just hoping that some bride stumbles upon this listing and decides she needs to buy a pair for everyone in her wedding party. I do have sizes extra small through extra large. This is a large and it says it fits shoe sizes 10 and 11. So I think extra small through large is gonna cover every size six through 12 to 13. And they're pink and foldable, brand new. So that's what it's like to go to a $1.99 Monday sale and pay full price for the things that you just can't say no to and then go to the bins. My average cost of goods was just over $4 between the two weeks. That's twice as much as the intended price of $1.99, but it's so much better than the full ticket asking prices at any of the thrift stores near me now. My goal right now is to buy as much as I reasonably can, get it all listed and sold. Instead of holding out for a higher price, I am trying to do a faster flip, which means I do need my cost of goods to remain low. The reason for this is because I'm moving. I'll be moving overseas to Australia as soon as the Australian government gives me the green light. My partner and I have been long distance for years. We did apply for the partnership visa 10 months ago and just recently had our file opened. They've asked for more information, we've provided it, and now we're waiting to hear back once again. I have very big goals for moving. I've got a lot of things to pay for. The visa itself was extremely expensive. Then there'll be the cost of moving, including airfare, passports for my children, moving boxes for the things that I am deciding to take with me. I want a few weeks off before I have to find a job and start up my business again. And I just want the move to be comfortable for me my partner, and everyone else in our lives. So the more I can sell, the better. This is also a huge reason why I choose to stay in the keto lifestyle. If you've seen any of my shorts, you've seen some of the strange meals that I choose to eat. I don't love cooking, but I do love eating to feel good and to not have headaches. Staying on a keto lifestyle has brought them down tremendously, like to about a fifth of the number I used to have. The more days I can work, the better. That's it for this chapter. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe and happy thrifting. There's a lot of work to be done now, so see ya.